Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome a female founder and CEO, Yanira Hiradia, the CEO of Altum Sequencing. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Janir Aredia. I'm the CEO of Faltum Sequencing, and I want to start with some numbers. Half of the men and a third of the women in this room will develop cancer. And the latest clinical trials are showing that up to 40% of us will not receive the best treatment. Yeah. A uh, uh, real uh, issue that the doctor face after treating a patient is that they don't know with precision who has been cured and who will relapse. And this occurs because current techniques lack the sensitivity and specificity to detect small survival tumor cells. To change this, we developed CloneSight, a next generation sequencing test that can detect one tumor cell in up to a million healthy cells and in a blood sample. Clonside can be uh, used to adjust treatment efficiently to detect relapses earlier and reducing healthcare costs. This is an example of a real lymphoma patient who ended the treatment with all tests negative, but who relapsed and died quickly. Clonside was able to detect residual disease in his blood. This patient missed crucial care. And this other patient was informed of a tumor relapse by a positive PET scan but this time, clonside was negative. And thanks to this test, this patient did not receive the extremely dangerous and unnecessary treatment. This patient is still alive and disease-free. This is happening, and there are thousands of cases like this in the hospitals. That's why liquid biopsy market is estimated in 31 billion and is growing uh, each year rapidly. And we are more sensitive and versatile than our American competitors, and we are better positioned to cover European and Asian market, where we already operate through a Chinese partner. We offer clone sites from a central lab and in a kit format, and this is going to enable us to overcome geographic barriers and a rapid expansion. And uh, Altum has a revenue since day one. Uh, actually, this year we expect closing around 1 million euros in revenues with an exponential growth in the coming years. And these projections are based on fact, since our technology is validated in the most relevant hematological and solid tumor. And now we seek funding to increase market share, to demonstrate clinical utility, and to obtain the CIVD to start operating also in the uh, healthcare market. And uh, Altum is a startup from 12 October Hospital, founded by the heads of oncology and hematology, key opinion leaders, and with a strong industry connections. And I'm also supported by strategies and financial experts, and by a motivated team ready to push forward with patients. And we all share a mission to make sure that not only our loved ones, but also yours, can benefit from a test like Lonsai. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yanira, for the presentation. Could you tell us a little bit more about your commercial strategy? Yeah. We are already commercializing the test, but now in the clinical research, because the of uh, clinical evidence is lower, uh, and, and nowadays we convince our clients, which are mainly uh, pharmaceutical industry and key opinion leaders or clinical research uh, scientific, uh, by the scientific data. We present our data, we attend to the Congress, and we have meetings, and this way we are able to uh, sign new contracts and validate the technology in more tumor types. The first, uh, the first Clinical validation allow us to sign two contracts. The second five, and this year we have we are uh, ongoing. We have uh, ten uh, clinical trials ongoing. That's what we expect to grow faster, increasing the clinical evidence. Can you quickly quickly comment? I mean, sequencing technologies are moving very, very, very fast. Um, how fast is your technology being? Uh, could be translatable into new sequencing technologies? Yeah, this is a very good question. Actually, with the kit format, we are adapting our technology 
not only to the real, the current one, but also to the Chinese uh, sequencing and American sequencing that are emerging. We have positive data proving that we can uh, sell this kit to be sequenced in this new uh, next generation sequencer. Yes. Do all the tests that you're using on the market at the moment have the CE mark, or are they being sold as a research uh, as a research test? Uh, sorry, sorry, can you? All the tests carry the CE mark at the moment, or are there others that are just on, in the research phase? Uh, no, we, we are not in the research. We are in the clinical validation because the technology is already patented and it's been proof like a, with 100% sensitivity and specificity in the most relevant tumor. But we uh, need to optimize the software and also the experimental procedure to be consistent with the regulatory requirements. Since it's uh, highly connected to the academic research institutes like the NEO, I guess, the, the, from where you yes. the presentation, um, how, how much, or if you can reveal a little bit, how is the tech transfer from those technologies out into the company? I mean, what is the involvement of public institutions into the company? Actually, we are the owner of the patent. So they just release the, page, the patent to the company. We are a, a, a limited society. <laughs> so we, we, doesn't de we don't depend on this uh, academic institution. It's true that they can help us to promote and commercialize because it's good to be supported by this kind of international center and well recognized, but we are independent. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anira. Thank you. Thank Thank you. So much. Thank you.